Yes, True story. Amen. Amen. True story. Amen. Amen. I waited, the man knows me, put the mess in my hand. I, I glanced a little bit, I saw the first one. Oh! <laughs> this is money. And I saw the second one. Within a week's time. Now, don't, don't, don't get canal on me. Within a week's time, $20,000 came into my hands. Now, I'm telling you this because you need to know how to produce what God has already made for you. It works! But you have to build these memorials. Otherwise, the devil will convince you it's not yours. You can't get it. God does not care about you. And it'll be your fault, not God's. Now, when I say $20,000, don't be calling me and asking for money. The money just came through the church and it's out on the field already. Ask her. Ask her. I just took a seat because I need to sow again. See, you, you guys, you don't understand how it works. And why, why can I do that? Why, why, sometimes people that, sometimes my, my wife says, I mean, why, why do you have to do it again? I say, listen, I understand this. I didn't earn the first one. I've got to keep the grace channel. me with his grace channel. I came in this morning, I already gave an assignment. Put another thousand in my hand. Is that correct? Was I looking for her desperately this morning? As soon as I came, I said, where's salvation? Where's salvation? Because I understand how it works. I have to build for God a memorial. And when I'm praying, I have something I'm pointing. I say, God, hey, Jehovah, you would have produced this. You can do another one again. But you found a memorial. What are you pointing to? What are you pointing to? Folks, it works. I'm just telling you, I'm sorry, it works. Mark my words. I'm about to give you a faith assignment. Mark my words. August next year, we're going to break ground for something magnificent. I'm not talking locally. Listen, I'm, I'm not localized. My think is global. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 I have an assignment to build something that's going to be a blessing to generations to come. Amen. We're going to break the ground next, next August. Not this August, next August. Amen. So that's why I'm sowing towards that now. Amen. When the time comes, it's too late. It's too late. You have to anticipate your harvest and begin to plan towards it. God, 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 when someone got of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he said, that is my name forever. That is my memorial. In other words, it's inviting you to be in covenant with him. Are you going to honor God? Build memorials. Anytime God brings you through anything, do something. And I'm not just talking money now. No, no, no. I'm just uh, do something you've not done before. Mm. I remember a man a while back was having some issues with his wife. He came to see me. We prayed. God gave him breakthrough. And I said to him, when you get home, do something that you've never done before. I don't care what it is. Put a memorial on the ground. It can be anything. Anything. It could be taking your wife out in the streets and, and walking for half a mile. You've never done it before. Just do it. It could be washing her feet. Something you've never done before. Anything. You never wash dishes, wash it that night. Something, something, something to just mark the occasion. To just say, God, you know what? You did something. I want to mark it. I want to put a memorial on the ground. The guy didn't do it. So he lost the victory. I am telling you principles that God built his kingdom upon. Mm. Look, go read in the scriptures. I don't have time to go through all of them. Too many, too many, too many. Memorials, memorials. Remember, 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 remembrance. Yeah. I want to pray now. Pastor Shino, Pastor Tni, you guys join me right now. Whatever has been holding from you that you want to be loosed, Make up your mind how you are going to memorize it now. Make up your mind. 
How are you going to mark a memorial of that thing? What are you going to do that you've never done before? Are you going to give something you've never given before? You're going to do something you've never done before? You need to do something. Now, just so we don't think it's our doing that makes God does what he does, I think it's very important that I cover this one last scripture. Because it's important we understand that it's not our doing that makes God do anything. Huge. To build lasting memorials, number one, you need to renew your commitment to God. Let me tell you what I mean. When those checks came into my hands on Thursday, immediately I ran back into the house, shouted to my wife. I said, wow, look at what God... The first thing I had to do is renew my commitment to God. That's how you build lasting memorials. Renew your own commitment to God. Say, God, I thank you. I bless you for your son, Jesus. Now, I'm not just talking about thanking now. No, 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 no. Renew. Make a new commitment. Say, God, you know what? I am going to serve you. I'm going to follow you. Whatever it takes, God, your grace upon me, I am following you all the way. Number one. Secondly, in Exodus 13, verse 9. Exodus 13, 9. It shall be a sign to you on your hand and as a memorial before your eyes that the Lord's law may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand, the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. Wow, when I first read it, I said, what in the heck is this? What does this mean? A sign to you on your hand and a memorial before your eyes. This is a proverbial saying in Israel. And it is simply a proverb denoting that anything in your hand or anything before your face, you can never lose focus of them. If I put something in your hand now, you know it's there. If I tie something, like your glasses is on you, coach, you know you're wearing glasses. Don't you know that? I, I know, sir. Ah, okay. Because if I take the glasses off, you can see. So God is saying, tie it to your hand, put it before your, eye, before your eyes, denoting that you are acknowledging and focusing that something is before you that is constant that you cannot forget. Now, the next sentence says, as a result of that, the Lord's law may be in your mouth. What am I talking about? How do you build a memorial that lasts forever? You are focused on what God has done, but at the same time, his word must be on your mouth. Did you guys get what I just said? His word must be, God's word concerning what you're standing for must be in your mouth. You have to be aware. You have to know the word of God because it's only through his word that he does what he does. That's how you build lasting memorials for God. Okay, let us pray. Let us pray. And for those of you that have not been coming on Wednesday nights, I want to remind you, Something incredibly is happening here on Wednesday nights. Yes. Yes. We are praying for needs like never before. I'm telling you, there's a grace and anointing that's here on Wednesday nights that's not here on Sunday morning. You need to carry yourself here so you can get something put on you for midweek. Yes. Amen? Yes. You are here, you say, Pastor, I want the manifestation of God's goodness. This Memorial Day weekend, I want something loosed up upon, upon my life to where I can come to that place that I know God has for me. If that's you, come right now. We're going to believe God for you guys. We're going to believe God for you. We're going to believe God for you. We're going to believe God for you. We're going to believe God. We're going to believe God. What God has begun is going to finish it in your lives. It's a covenant-keeping God. Covenant not keeping God. This word does not fail. It's not going to fail where, where it concerns you. Amen. It's not possible. Amen. It's not possible. Amen. It's not possible. God's word for you will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail. This is your season. This is your hour. Hour of manifestation. Of the miraculous. Of the supernatural. This is your time. This is your time. This is your time. Person, let's start over there. Prophesy, give a word of wisdom, word of knowledge as God lifts you guys. Hallelujah. Glory be to God.
Mandala ka bashe ke toko bahaneri. Mere ke besho ko bahandala ka baha. Father, in Jesus' name, we touch and agree with every man and every woman right here at this altar. I pray that this is the hour for their manifestation, the time for them to receive double for whatever it is that's overtaking them. Lord God, in Jesus' name, you said from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and that the violence take it by force. And this morning, God, in Jesus' name, as we build you memorials, remembrance, we recall your goodness, your faithfulness, your covenant-keeping God. We bring to, recover, to, to remembrance all your goodness concerning us. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the virtue and the authority of who you are, we call your covenant to come alive. As you remembered Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and delivered them out of Egypt, Father, today you will bring deliverance. You will bring deliverance. You will bring deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we receive it for you for, for, for right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we receive deliverance. Manifestation of your goodness. In the name of Jesus, we receive manifestation of God's goodness. In the name of Jesus, we receive, Father, the manifestation of your goodness. In the name of Jesus, no more delay, no more delays. In the name of Jesus, we receive manifestation now. We thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, everything has been withheld. We release it now. In the name of Jesus, favor from above. In the name of Jesus.